Good morning, happy Sunday. Today I am alone again. My husband is off doing things, making money, having fun, that's good. Um, today I have to, to go grocery shopping and I wanted to maybe do some baking as well. So I figured like, why not? Let's just do like a completely like food related vlog today. So a little bit of like what I eat what I grocery shopped, what I'm baking, that kind of stuff, just completely like food related. So weekends are great because I have a little bit extra time. Like I have a lot of stuff I want to get done today, but like I'm not in any specific rush. Um, whenever I leave the house to go grocery shopping is when I leave the house to go grocery shopping. It's a Sunday, so it'll hopefully be a little bit slower in the stores today as well as it's raining. So for breakfast, I am just whipping up a little skillet. Like I said, I have more time, which is wonderful. So I can like actually cook potatoes, fry the potatoes up, let them cook. It's, it's so good. The produce is definitely getting a little bit old. So grocery shopping is very much needed. switching to vlog on my phone because um, I live in a rural small town and people would look at me with a camera. But anyway, the parking lot is really, really empty. So I'm really excited that I'm just gonna have a very chill grocery shopping day. Also, I look like a baby. It's pouring rain, so I didn't put on any makeup. I didn't wear my glasses and like, I don't look like myself. But anyway, let's go because it's raining and I wanna get home. So the stuff that needs to go into the fridge and the freezer. I got some edamame. I got these gluten-free vegan dark chocolate waffles. They're so good. Those are for really lazy mornings. I got some cheese. Cheese for my husband. Coffee cream. The hash browns that my husband likes for breakfast. I got Beyond Meat, Beyond Ground, it's so good. Even my husband who still eats meat, I don't cook his meat. <laughs> when my husband, my husband still eats meat, but even he prefers the ground Beyond Meat because it's just, it's so yummy, it's so yummy. I got coconut yogurt, I got oat milk, and I got almond milk. I, I am very picky about my plant milks. Um, this is the first brand that I found here in Canada that doesn't have any gums. Even this has gum, which I'm like not 
the biggest fan of. Like I know it's not the best for my gut. Um, but I haven't found a good coffee substitute and I don't just like putting milk in my coffee, but I love oat milk. So I got the almond milk as well for drinks and stuff. Then in this one, I got Beyond Sausage, some rosemary. Um, I got Light Life Burgers. I've really been liking these. I usually do the Beyond, but I like to switch it up every now and then. They also had these plant-based chicken burgers, which are gluten-free as well. Um, it's not always easy to find gluten-free and vegan meat, so I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited. This is, I, I don't normally buy this much vegan meats, so I, this looks bad. I don't know what to tell you. I, I usually don't eat this much processed foods. I got some toaster strudels for my husband, and then just some regular burgers for him. Then I got some tempeh. I'm going to use one to meal prep with and then one for a dinner sometime this week. I got two peanut butters, two jars, two jars of peanut butter. Um, I don't love the plastic on these, but they are just peanuts and salt. So, um, yeah, and they don't have to be refrigerated till they're open. So I keep them in the, in the pantry. And then I just got a can of chickpeas because I already have one. And then I got a bunch of these canned soup for my husband because he loves to take those. Then I got some English muffins for my husband, some green onions. I got some lemons. Broccoli. We love broccoli. So yummy. I got a bunch of mm, mushrooms as I throw it away. Um, and then some of the mini the baby potatoes, which are just so mm, yummy, so good. I did get a bunch of bread for my husband, so just um, a loaf, some sub buns, because we're going to have sub this week, and then some hamburger buns for the hamburgers I bought. I also got the gluten-free equivalent for myself. Some buns and some sub buns, and here's what I'm going to say. Being gluten-free is really so expensive. So there are three rolls in this bag. It costs $7. There are six in here and it was $4. Like, I can't, I, it's ridiculous. Same with the buns. Like, it's just insane, insane. But anyway, this is the stuff my husband likes because it is baked right in store at Sobeys. And this is the stuff I like because it's actually so soft. Finding soft and gluten-free stuff is so hard. Usually it comes like in the freezer, so it's already frozen. Um, and then it's just hard to get soft, if ever. Um, so this is really nice. They're free from like all of the allergens, so gluten, dairy, eggs, fish, like just everything. They don't have anything that could hurt you in there, which is very nice. Then I've got some crackers for myself, some nutritional yeast, and some avocados. And I also got this tomato soup I found, which I'm really excited to upcycle the jar. Um, I could totally make my own tomato soup, and I have, but it has been just a couple of very miserable weeks of being sick. So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of a break and just heat some soup up. It's a luxury that somebody with as many allergies and sensitivities and food preferences as I have to find something made that I can have. So I'm very excited about that. I also got some fair trade um, chai tea as well as some rice noodles for when I want to make like ramen and stuff at home. And then last thing, I got some gluten-free oats and I got two big things of strawberries, one for eating, and then one I'm going to make a, a rhubarb, rhubarb strawberry pie. So this is gonna be like some crumble on top. And then I just got some carrots as well. And then I got some bird seed and I got some cat litter, but I don't feel like I need to show you that. So yeah, this is our like two week grocery haul. Um, I tried to like meal plan for, um, more than two weeks and buy accordingly that way I don't spend too much so 
honestly, it was probably just over $300 for two people um, for two weeks. That's the price of groceries. It's ridiculous, but um, I'm just really thankful that we're able to afford groceries and fill our fridge and fill our pantry. It's not something I ever want to take for granted. So I'm going to quickly have lunch because it's now 1.20. It's 1.20. Oh my gosh. I thought it was like one at least. Okay. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put the produce away properly, store it so that it does not go bad. Let's do that. I guess I should continue my what I eat in, the day, in a day. Um, so while I was in the car, I had a protein bar, a Cliff protein bar, the plant-based ones. Actually, I'll show you. They're the nut butter ones. They're so yummy. So I, you, I usually always have one in my purse. So I have that in between shopping. And now for lunch, I'm just going to have some leftover pizza. This is from Santa Lucia. Um, they not only have a plant-based menu, they have a gluten-free menu. So I'm really excited. It's super yummy. We got this on... Friday, so usually payday, which is every two weeks, we'll get um, pizza or takeout or something. And then a pizza can easily last me like, cats. A pizza can usually last me like a week, honestly, because I only have like two slices at a time. I just, like I kind of eat like a bird. I, I'm eating constantly throughout the day, but like short little meals. So I'm just gonna heat up two pieces here. I don't know what plant-based cheese they use because I normally, this is my first pizza from Santa Lucia because I didn't know that they had plant-based options until literally Friday. Um, so normally I get from Za and I don't know if these are all like Canadian um, pizza places so maybe you have no idea what I'm talking about, maybe you do. I don't know, normally I get from Za and they use the Daya, the Daya, the Daya mozzarella cheese, which is fine, but like I can taste it. I know that it's Daya. This, I have no idea what this is, but it's so yummy. It's so good. I still have enough for like tomorrow lunch as well, which is exciting. I'm gonna eat that, watch some new girl, and then I got to get to business, clean the dishes, and then I think I'm gonna start baking. One hour later. Okay, so now I'm just gonna make um, a strawberry rhubarb pie with a crumble top. Just because I've had this rhubarb in my freezer for about a year, and um, this pie has been this pie crust has been in there for a while too, so I want to use them up. My husband and I have also just been eating so much strawberries. We're really going through a strawberry craze, so yeah. These, and then I'm gonna have to slice it up.
Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Can you set the timer for 20 minutes? 20 minutes, counting down. Look at my pie. Look at it. I am so proud of myself. This looks delicious. It smells delicious. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to eat. So it's about 3 p.m. I have some blog work that I need to get done. Um, so I'm gonna go pluck away at that and then around supper time, I'm going to like meal prep so that I have food tonight and then for a couple of days of work during the week. So I will catch up with you guys then for more food related stuff. So somewhere along the line, I decided that I really wanted some macaroni salad. So I am going to just whip up some noodles um, now already so if they have time to cool before I add in like veggies and the dressing and everything like that So I'm going to do that. I use gluten-free rice noodles and they are delicious. So Let me get those I think I'm just gonna cook this whole thing so that I have a nut like several days worth and then my husband probably can have some too I, I wanted to do kind of like a like um, vegan lunchables so like a pasta salad and then probably like fruits and veggies and like some vegan cheese and like just kind of like more snacky style um, lunch. So that is what I'm doing right now. That was loud, sorry. enough sauce but like I'm realizing this is a big bowl so fingers crossed colorful spiralized rice pasta so gluten-free and then I got orange and red pepper um, and chickpeas and I think I'm gonna toss in some green onions just for good measure as well and that extra like um the the fresh tasting i love the freshness of it if i had celery i probably would have thrown celery in too for a little bit more crunch but this will do just fine as it goes flying now the sun has come out it is beautiful now I don't think it's gonna last because I think it's still supposed to thunderstorm tonight, but it's a nice little break. Oh, beautiful. Plus, yeah, big bowl, so I will have enough for leftovers throughout the week, which is really great. 
I know this is like a side dish, but now that I've added protein, it's totally going to be like my main course. So then each day I can kind of like switch up what I eat with it. So whether it's like rice crackers or like strawberries or grapes or like just any kind of thing that I want to throw with it, maybe some bread. It's going to be good to switch up. And so I'm really excited for that. Thank you so much for spending the day with me and cooking and grocery shopping and baking and all of that wonderful stuff. Food is beginning to be a beautiful thing for me. It was always such a hard thing before and now it is such a beautiful thing. So I'm happy that I got to share this guy, this day with you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, it's probably, I'm going to have some pie when my husband comes home. We're going to have some of the strawberry rhubarb pie. But other than that, after my pasta salad and supper here, I'm probably done eating for the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time for a new vlog, a new video. Who knows what it's going to be, but you'll just have to subscribe and see. <laughs> Bye guys.